Come see what all the fans are talking about. Right here on Bronco Planet. Howdy there, folks. Shad, we got Chris with us right here on Bronco Planet. Broncos at a smooth four and three. Chris, good things are happening, but we're not even going Broncos right away. We got to have, we haven't had the NFL expert on in a wow. while. Chris, I'm going to put you on the hot seat. You okay. up for the challenge? Let's go. Let's go. All right, then start it off. All right, Chris. So far, we got about seven games under our belt. What team out there is amazing you or surprising you at this point? Yeah, people are going to people are going to throw darts at this one, Chad. The best team in the NFL right now is the Houston Texans. Go in your way back machine, back to who I told you was going to be in the Super Bowl, Houston Texans. Throw out the loss to Green Bay. Green Bay had to have a win. Aaron Rodgers went nuts. But watch this team. They're so good defensively. J.J. Watt on the line. The thing that is different about Houston than any other team in the league, they can beat you on the ground. They can beat you on the air. Best team in the league right now. And happy to have Arian Foster on my fantasy team. He yeah. gets a few points for you. Uh, but, no, no, I agree. I don't know. I wonder, though, Matt Swab later on in the season, is he, is he, a, is he a guy that's going to come through for you? That's my only question about Houston. Sure, sure. That, and, that, and he, he, you know, last year he got hurt late in the year. They had to go to T.J. Yates. And, uh, and that's, if there's an unknown on that offensive side of the ball, it's at that quarterback position. All right, rolling around. How about the biggest train wreck? We were, there's a few out there, but you, you got to pick the number one train wreck in the NFL. Sure, sure. This is this is actually a tie at the top of the list, and this is a this is a Hurricane Sandy sized train wreck, <laughs> and it can't go. You got to start That's with, with the New York Jets, yeah. right? This thing has just been an absolute grease fire, and with Rex Ryan at the helm, I love watching it. <laughs> I love every Sunday. Mark Sanchez going, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. And Rex going, I guarantee you that we'll win the Super Bowl. And Tebow going, oh, I don't know. I wish I played more. I yeah. love watching it. There's yeah. nothing better. And they're <laughs> horrible. Now, now here's the great thing that they tie. The team they tie with, which will make Bronco fans feel good, is the Chiefs. But, yeah. Let me tell you. Here's how you know when your team is bad. You're hoping that Brady Quinn gets back from his concussion so you don't have to start Castle, a quarterback. <laughs> That's how you know you're not good. How can Castle... To wind down so badly so quickly was, was it all just scheme is that all that they carried him and and for pete's sake there you know i hate to give any adva- advice to cheese fans but five carries for jamal charles yeah, I, I, I think the guy is pretty good i try and give him the ball more than five yeah. times in a game yeah and again i'm not i don't know a ton about football but the best player on your team should touch the ball more often yes and that's and, and the, that's sure. some out there logic i know Chris. i know the thing that is really frustrating if you if you're a chiefs fan if you go back to this point last year and they were just coming off of that great draft with eric berry moiaki yep. dexter mccluster and, and they've been through some injuries last year i know but, but the, those guys are all in the mix this yeah, year they, they should be better uh, romeo I, cornell is done at the end of this year yeah for for sure and i i think that was more of a sympathy hey you've 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 been there for us but there were people doubting his credentials and, and his head coach well, ability. I well, guess you got to give the guy a shot. Here's, here's what we've learned over the past couple of years. If we've learned nothing else, there are guys who are meant to be coordinators. Yep. Perfect example is Wade Phillips. He's a great defensive coordinator. He's not a great head coach. And that's what they, you know, that's, that's what Would you, you say the same about our own defensive coordinator and Jack Del Rio, well, who was I, fired as a I head think coach? so. And, and, and not to bring back, not to, to, to pour salt in the wound, but I, I think your boy McDaniels probably fits yep. in that category. He, My boy. I think he, I know he's your, I know, <laughs> don't, I know. I know Say your that, man please. crush is him and, and Mike McCoy. <laughs> no, yeah, my two favorites. But but I think he's he turns out to prove every year again again with the Patriots this year he's a pretty good a good imaginative offensive coordinator, not a head coach. All right, real quick, we got the prize monkey waiting in the in the in the I, back room. I know. He's what, ready what's to give between, away some What's stuff. between you and the prize monkey? All right, last, is me. So okay. let's roll. All right, last thing. All right, here we go. A mirage. I know you're going to Las Vegas. Well, you got a big thing going on with work this week. That's so right. I think mirage. That's right. What team out there appears good? Yeah, but it's not so good. Yeah. So it's 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 the <laughs> mirage. Here's and, and and this is going to upset some people. Let me tell you who's not as good as their record shows through the set, the first eight weeks. That's the Baltimore Ravens. This team is getting old and this team is getting slow. 
in a hurry. Yeah. Flacco, guys were ready to, to bronze him and put him in, in Canton last year after and a including near miss. himself. He, he yeah. thinks he yeah. belongs there. That well, is one I think proud I'm quarterback. the greatest uh, <laughs> analyst on Bronco Planet. Yeah, I think I'm elite. Why wouldn't I? Well, look who you're. You may be. You look but, at who you're going against. Here's what's interesting is you talk about you talk about the Jamal Charles things. How Ray Rice doesn't have 25 touches yeah. a game. I'll never understand. And, and the thing that is frustrating on that offensive side of the ball is they will have games where Dennis Pitta and Torrey Smith look like world beaters, and then they'll have games the next week where there's two catches between them. That team is not nearly as good yeah. as, as the record is through eight games. And, and here's what happens. You lose defense. I mean, look at the Bears. I mean, Jay Cutler, in your honor, I got the crybaby shirt on. That guy is terrible. He continues to be terrible. But that defense is allowed like 100 points all season long. The Bears and got him in defense there. is outscoring my entire fantasy football <laughs> team this year. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> that happens to do with uh, your lovely draft choices. All right, well, anyway, we cannot hold it back anymore. Appreciate you being on. We're going to come back and talk Broncos, but you know what a time for, Chris. Prize monkey. Prize monkey. That monkey is funky. I got to love the prize monkey. Well, he does what he does. Best part of my week, every week. All right. right. So it's really simple on how you win the prize monkey prize this week. All right. During our last show, Danny and I broke down the last Bronco win, a pretty impressive uh, performance by Peyton Manning. We had a current Denver Bronco kick off that show and one wrap it up. All you got to do is go to Bronco Planet at yahoo.com and comment and just tell us who is the Bronco who kicked it off. Who finished it off? Perfect. Pretty simple. Perfect. All right. And like then you are going to win. You're going to like this. A Jake Plummer Bronco jersey. Old school. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing Jake wrong. The snake. And maybe even his great, jersey. We don't even know. One of the great Rose Bowl performances of all time when he was at Arizona State. Great guy. Kids, look it up. All right. So uh, let's talk a little bit Denver Broncos. This is why we're here anyway. Uh, we got Cincinnati. Yeah. Who's... Not done real good. Is Icky yeah. Wood still on that team? I, I don't even. I'm not even sure. <laughs> but uh, what, you know, what's the deal? Is this anything that Bronco fans got to worry about? It's a way early game. Uh, did, no. Are we too high right now? Not paying attention. No. Nothing to worry about. No. This this is, uh, here, and here's the difference. I think Shad, when Peyton Manning is in charge of your team, I don't think you have that trap game. I don't think you have that letdown game because he is such a professional. If if there's anything to worry about. It's A.J. Green on the other side of the ball, who I think by the end of this year replaces Calvin Johnson as the premier wide receiver in the league. He may pass him this year. I mean, poor Calvin Johnson week. getting triple teamed or something. One touchdown all season. Oh, that's, I know. That's, uh, quite Trust a, me, I spent a first-round pick on him. <laughs> quite a story there. But, you know, that's not going to be held down for too long. But anyway, all right. So uh, their defense, uh, middle of the road. I mean, who, who's yeah. going to have a bit predictive for me, Chris? You've done such a good job. You picked out Houston. You told every viewer here that Detroit was going to suck, despite what people said this year. And, and they're at the bottom of their division. Who is going to score and, and have the biggest impact? You can't say Peyton Manning on this game against Cincinnati. Here's here's what I what I what I think we're going to see. I think Brandon Stokely gets in the end zone one time. Willis McGay he's going to get in the end zone one time. And here's Shad. And again, we don't on Bronco Planet condone the gambling. Okay. Okay. But kids, if you want to just look away <laughs> for a little bit, grown ups, there'll be a special teams touchdown in this game by the Broncos. Special teams or a, a return. Nice. Let me say okay. a return. Could be a fumble. Could be an interception. Could be a kick return. All right. Well, we will. I just, here's, what I do. What? here's what I do. Here's what I do. I, do I, I, want, I'm trying I want to figure the it folks out. at home to have money. I know Christmas is coming. Yep. I want the kids Now's to have time. a Christmas. I, you know, we're in it for the kids. All right. Well, there's nothing else we can bring to you, folks. We got the prize monkey giving away things. We got Chris I'm putting sure stuff. money in your hands. So it's what I do. Big game here. It's it's good to be sitting. First place, AFC yeah. West, yeah. for a 4-3 and three team. We're sure getting a lot of attention. A lot of people predicting Broncos going all the way to the show. Well, it's, it's it, at 4-3, and three, you're exactly right. The, the AFC, I think what we've seen is a three-team race. And it, it's the Texans out by a nose with Denver and Pittsburgh. And, and I think anybody that's watched football the last couple of weeks, it's, it's a three-team race now in the AFC. All right. Is it too early, Chris, to book some tickets there in New Orleans? Is it time to get to our hotel? No. Not yet. No, it's never, right. never too early. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, great seeing you. You know where to catch us. Facebook, right there, BroncoPlanet.com, Twitter. You're where everywhere. Go look sure. at your billboard. We may be there. Who sure. knows? Sure. All right, guys. Pride the monkey. <laughs>